so our new video is <laughs> music video is going to be the song Company of Thieves by the artist Georgie. Georgie. Um, she's like a just starting out our um, artist. It's her first and I think only single that she has out. She doesn't even have an album out, I think she's doesn't EP, but she's a starting off artist. It's quite well known, she's been um, opening Jake for Jake Bug on his Who we were UK previously tour. doing. Who we were previously doing, who we found her through, but yeah. So yeah, that's the new song we're doing, Company of Thieves by Georgie. And um, we've come up with a narrative, and sort of the narrative is that it's, um, she's, her boyfriend's been cheating on her with two other girls. Or I don't know, maybe more. I don't know. He's like, he's been, he's been getting around, um, and she obviously finds out, and yeah, they, and yeah. you can tell by the song, and the artist, the star image of the artist is she's got quite a raspy rock and roll kind of voice. So she's not the sort of girl. She's if not she a found, shy yeah, if she girl, found out, if she found out her boyfriend's been yeah. sleeping around, she's not gonna go sit down and c- cry. She's gonna like tell him what she she's going to yeah. yeah do something about it she's going to get revenge and that kind of fits her star image as this rock and roll girl who's tough and um doesn't like being made a fool of like doesn't like that yeah. sort of thing so um that's our um now to say she finds out that and then she um basically comes up with a plan to um cuz i imagine the guy she was dating was probably a bit of a bit of an ass probably yeah. drives around in a bit of a fancy car thinking he can yeah, do the whatever way she he describes wants. Him in the song. Yeah, the way yeah, she describes him in the song. That vibe. Very um um temperamental. So I can imagine him we can get some really cool shots of him driving the car and things like that. So he yeah. has like a big fancy car. So um she then meets up with the two other girls that um he's been seeing as well as he's her. been seeing as well as her and they all they all um they're all walking while singing the song with like baseball bats and things to plan to smash up his car. Yeah, but that's where there'll be a lot of lip syncing and mm-hmm. so um, as well. For for a more like um, detailed version of it, we'll have but it will start off. I can imagine it starting off her sitting at a windowsill with like a big notebook, kind of planning, planning what she's yeah. gonna do. She doesn't. She's more angry, so she's kind of trying to plan. She's trying to plan. She's like trying to write down things, but she kind of just rips it up and just scribbles because yeah. she's remembering all these things that he did to annoy her. And it's just making her angry, and then um, I think there's a there's a um, there's a line in it that says why are you s- something like why are you to be so good at lying, um, but to be so bad at replying, which I think would be really cool if like she can look at her phone and then like throw it against the wall yeah, to show yeah that she's that she knows she's that no he's yeah yeah out there with that she knows she's without that, and also shows that she's not she ain't no like. She's not gonna let him get away with it. She she yeah. she'll get she gets angry. She she's gonna do something about it. Um and then she kind of gets temperamental. She's like, what's the point of me sitting here like writing this book? I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna do something about it. So she gets up and then it cuts to um studio filming. Yep, of lip syncing of her lip syncing in a studio. And um I think we'll lose use a lot of um male gaze there because yeah. she's a female artist. So you need to say so a lot of a lot of um, male gaze there, a lot of um, I think close ups to the face, more looking flirting at with the camera, more very fl- flirting with the camera, in different angles as well, so she can like look over her shoulder at the camera and things. Yeah, or look, look up. up, look yeah, look straight ahead. Type. Look straight ahead, yeah. So we'll have loads of like loads, and we can do that by um, having just three different cameras film at the same time. One as a um, a uh, close up of the face, another one that's kind of like a mid angle shot of like her side yeah. here and then another one which I think would be um, a high angle shot, a mid high angle shot because then she can look up at the camera which I think is really flowy. Yeah, um, and that's also where we'll use projector footage. Yeah, that's the stuff we've filmed before, yeah. We'll use that stuff um, and that can be memories of places she's been with him, it can be memories of them. Um, and then we can use yeah. the fact that there's that other girl in it to kind yeah. of be the elephant in the room, the type. We can use Charlotte, who was, who was in the um, projector footage. Um, she can be another one of the girls that he cheated on. So she can yeah. still have this, even though she's not but angry But she kind of knew. She knew. She saw her and was like, yeah. mm, I think you've got something going on with her. So, yeah. And then 
what I think was really cool, I watched a music video for, um, I don't know if you've seen it, called Carrie Underwood. Two black Cadillacs. Which is like yeah. a, which is a, a car, like a funeral car. And there's a lot of cool shots of um, these black cars driving. And the, basically the narrative of that um, music video is <coughs> is very similar to the one of ours, but um, yeah. It's two girls, they find out a wife and a girl and like a girlfriend. So the wife and his girl on the side find out and they actually plot to kill him. So they oh, they kill him. Yeah. And it's um filmed at um the funeral and they do get a lot of cool shots of like the funeral cars pulling up, which I think we can do with um a swift car for our guy who's driving to meet the three girls, but yeah. probably only thinks he's meeting one and then he's greeted by all three with like bats and stuff. And I think the end shot could be him like turning off headlights or things something like that so yeah. this thing goes black so we don't actually see them no smash up a car because i don't think we could afford to <laughs> get like no but we just hint <laughs> smash up our dad's car or something um but we can um we can hint at it we can make it very obvious which i don't think you need to see, you don't need to see them go all out no. like smashing a car i think so that's not part of the no yeah either. no it's not you don't need to see that i think um it would make it very obvious and i think an audience, as an audience, you don't need to see the actual destruction of the car. Like, you're going to be like, no. ah, yeah. Because audiences like to work out what's going to happen. I learned that from doing drama. Yeah. It's good to leave out little details because audiences makes them feel, it's like a like one of life's little pleasures when you find out. Yeah. And you kind of work out the narrative makes for yourself. Feel makes you feel, feel more of a part of it. Feel, makes you feel good. So we can leave the ending like that. So, yeah, I think that's our, yeah, that's our idea for, that's our idea for our new music video.